Kıçılım ki kalkma. Bum 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 bum. Kıçı o ses ses. Midi beş, nem ki ka, midi beş kol kedan. Nem ki ka, midi beş kol kedan. Batin vak nem ki. Batin vak nem ki. Mi ue en endi muat. Nishnabek, Nimkika, Bhaktin, Hok Nimkika, I went to go basic Nimki. Basic, then on down with him. Kumum, basic, you know, kumum, eh. Bhaktin, Hok Nimkika, me manda, Nimkika, Edmund. Hmm. Kish pen delmenen, Bhaktinak, delmenka. Delmenka. Eh. Mskomenak, kiken mark, mskomenak. Eh. Kish pen batin wat skomenak. Ne ira kit batin wat skomenak. Mange skomenak. Ni o eshen kasa min wa ka. Waskane. Ne rakke da mungo waskane ka. Waskane ka. Ne ira kit batin wat skomenak. Skomenak. Skomna partinok, det är inte. Vi är inte kaze. Mange. Skomna kaze. Skomna kaze. Vi är inte kaze. Kaze. Gishpen Kada shvi go goetch, kaj go goetch, kin vi da no be mate se dje, kaj go goetch, kip sim kao. Kaj go goetch, kaj go goetch, aj vi kan do non do asi vi da shvi da no. Be mate se dje kao, kaj kan non da si, kaj no kim ga sa. Iš pen be mate se dje tveš kogu na, iš pen Rolling Stones, ni ven na ogu na ogu ma. Oh, we tane bati no ak be madesi cik tam kita gai. We tane madesi kai gai. Kai mam tau iwe. Oh, ni ni ving ye mam da pi ni ving nak shik. Zgime kiken mak zgime. Eh, bati no ak. We tane zgime ka. Zigimekah. Mina, nangat nung anin gudje ktiganing nangat nung pati mok na agunda. Pati mok, yai esik minua. Kita mak untuk kene buk. Eh, ispin gudje pati mok kene buk. Kene buk ka. Kene buk ka. Eh. Yeah. You never go car. Hmm. That kid on the way. Yeah. You never go car. Hmm. Yeah. Me is in a car and gay car. Mission. Yeah. I know some house in a car. Car and gay car. Um. Meanwhile, some. Charlotte, we all. Charlotte, can I have more? Can I have more? Yeah, I'll be used as like there is, or only when it's plenty. Like there 
is Yeah, it's sort of tricky when you're translating into English because of the way you need to use English grammar for your sentence to sound correct. Um, yeah, so when I say batine, like if it's plural, like I would, it would be proper in English to say there are lots of raspberries um, or there are lots of mosquitoes. That's proper English, eh? Um, if there are things that are not normally put in plural form in English, and there are some things like that. Yeah, because it's not plural noun in English. English grammar sort of tells you, well, you're not supposed to say there are, you're supposed to say there is. <laughs> um, so for, for thunder, really, when we say nimkika, in English, a normal translation that sounds like how English speakers are used to saying is like, um, there's a big thunderstorm. It's, how they normally talk in English, it sounds normal to say that. Nishnabemun, like that would be a loose translation of nimkika, or there is a thunderstorm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thunderstorm indicates like it's just not one clap of thunder, mm -hmm. but it's like a clap of thunder, another clap of thunder, mm -hmm. and so on. Nishnabemun, the literal translation of what we're saying <coughs> is nimkika. There are lots of thunderers, because mm -hmm. nimki is a thunderer, mm -hmm. it's a being that yeah. is making that noise. It's not just a so personal like weather phenomenon. Nava. What? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So literally, what we're saying is there are lots of thunderers. It's what we're saying when we say nimkika. But of course, in normal English speech, if we talk, okay. unless somebody knows that you are Nishnabe and they are familiar with Nishnabe culture and Nishnabe worldview, if you told them, oh, there were lots of thunderers yesterday, they would sort of go, hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, are there people around that are called thunderers? They might wonder in English eh, if they're not familiar. Mm -hmm. But in Nishnabe, it sounds equally fine to say mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. There's nothing odd about that. Yeah, yeah that's where like translation always. It's really tricky, eh? Because it's like you have to make the decision. It's not very more sentence patterns that sound natural to us. If they're translated literally, they're going to sound, some of them will sound very odd in English, so you have to make a decision. Do I translate it literally? And generally, it's a good idea not to. It's not a good idea to translate if it sounds too odd. So you give a loose translation that sounds normal in the other language. But translation is really tricky. Me when enters in the book, he go unkin also do. Me which Charlotte? Kitchen not the magi. Which now be man we are? Gin on them call we are Charlotte and Cosette. We can come which now be man Charlotte kick it up. We know who you Charles should cost. Charlie, you can look. Charlie. Now I'm going to go to Schnabel, what else you can cost now? Can you go here? understand like he and she and him and her but if it's like he or she saw him and her who are they can, can she can he see her like are they the same people um, I wrote down an example but I lost my book so. yeah. oh you thought you told me again yeah we know this not be long we have a little example. Um, um, example Wab, uh, oh, like he saw her. Saw her. Ah, no. He saw her. Now. She saw him. Nishnabe ah. among. We know from the context of a conversation. 
we don't know that from the sentence all by itself in isolation because these come up in conversation or in a narrative. So that's how we know, is that putting a picture together in the broader context, that's how we know. And, and if people aren't sure, if there's different people, whatever, in, that you're talking about, then people can, can just ask, it's like, oh, when is Kawabmat? Oh, we name Kiwabmat. We name Kiwabmat. He saw her, and he could either use gesturing or whatever, or some other, or names. So like, um, Sam Kiwabmat, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, if, so then if, if you were talking to somebody else and then he, like you were saying that he saw her, wouldn't, and then does it become a fourth person? Ah. Ah. No. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have you die with me into the deep end of the pool. <laughs> you're you're going to have to get into the deep end of the pool eventually. Right. No. And this one happens quickly in learning. No. Um, transitive verbs, introductory nishnabe mwin bi kino that's when I introduce transitive verbs, inanimate, inanimate. So I introduce that part. Mm -hmm. So, so much time, transitive verbs, kin o magea, na in tam doshi no magae, ni ngiwap ma, ni no ni kiwap ma. Kiwap ma na Charlotte. Mean <laughs> 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 I don't have the biggest. Mama, be mad at it. Mama, be mad at it. Me, mama. Me, mama. I want it. Nah. Mama, but I should get in. Miss Charlotte. Maba Charlotte. Maga, I've been kind of, I've Charlotte Maba. I've been kind of, 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 me win it on. When is it? When is it? Well, bit when is it? To get the ego, ma ba. I can sing. I can sing. Because I'm not just going to do that. I'm going to do it now. Third grammatical person. Me ma ba. Me ma ba. I will be. Ah, but that's 
Ewabmin, my mother. Ekonimi. Ekonimi. Need to be scooped here. Panashima. Nangur and Nungdash. Nangur and Nung. Maba. Ekonimi. We. Tawabma. Takidam. Takidam. Oh. Okay. Kiwapmigun. Charlotte, he spin knows an Asian cousin. Manda Kidan, Kiwapmigun. Kiabego Maba Wabe. Kiabego Maba Win Wabe. Kiabego Maba Wab Migasa. Ne either Shmanda Kish Manda Shinaga sit to an hour verb. Kai Giabe Maba Ekun sing Aussie. Kai Giabe third person Aussie. Fourth person, Maba Nungo Awe. Maba Dish. Maba Dish Meshkut. Maba Nungo Meshkut. Third person, Awe. Gabba Shigo. Gabba Wigo Maba. Gabba Go Maba Wabe. Mish will to go Nungo fourth person, Awe. Maba Meshkut, third person. Me this with con of addiction on the top of her. Charlotte, keep up me good. Kevin, you're not the good. Me with even and ching, the snobbic. Brad Valentine, he should be on the negan, sun and moon, also con the bottom. Nay, the Brad Valentine, up at your good knee. Give not to a nation agent system of kit, and we go chick it with a linguistics and cosmic. Ich bin geschickt durch die Gegend, man. Aber ich habe mich gesehen, ich habe mich gesehen, ich habe mich gesehen. Und ich habe mich gesehen, ich habe mich gesehen. So, how Rand Valentine explains it, and I find it works really well, when you think about it, it's hard to sort of understand what he's saying at first, but it's like he explains it as taking one or the other person's perspective. So it's like, if I'm standing over here, and I'm saying he saw Charlotte, I'm sort of like taking his perspective. So the person whose perspective I'm taking um, becomes the third person. Nothing to do with who's actually doing the seeing. It's just whoever's perspective. So I'm taking his perspective, he's doing the seeing, so I say he uh, man Charlotte. He could still be doing the seeing, but in my remark, I could, for whatever reason, sometimes it just seems arbitrary. It seems arbitrary. I'm not sure, like, Rand explains it in terms of uh, like a storytelling device, like taking one person's perspective, different times in the story. Mm -hmm. So I could take her, Charlotte's perspective, but it still can't be doing the scene. So now, I'm taking her perspective, so she's now the third person. Mm -hmm. The person whose perspective I'm taking is the third person. That's how he explained it. And after, like, at first when I read it, I thought, hmm. Come meet to the wood posse. They get to know. Me just not have the wind of all. Ah, hmm, me go get it. Take another. They play the good of the trend. Now, Mandangi do duck, Kevin and Optic. I'll take you with snow on the Pacadeo for the kid. Kevin and Optic. Then the last Charlotte Chinda. Right now, in the one we had, the big one was seen.